Welcome everyone to Inside South Florida. I'm your host, Jason Carter. The grief of losing a loved one is an all-encompassing emotion. You know, there isn't a playbook or a manual that can tell you how to deal with its ebb and flows. And for children, that couldn't ring even more true. Tomorrow's Rainbow is a place I had the opportunity to visit where children and parents can find solace from their grief for just a little bit through the wondrous healing power of animals. Tomorrow's Rainbow, for 17 years, you have been helping families heal from grief. Tell us your story. So the Tomorrow's Rainbow story actually begins back in April 2000 during my family's vacation in Texas. My husband, my seven-year-old son, and I were involved in a head-on collision at 65 miles an hour. Killed my husband instantly and left my son and I both hospitalized. And when we were in the hospital, I could really only focus on one thing, and that was that no matter what it took, that's what I was going to help my son and I do to heal from the tragedy. When we came back to the community, there were no children's grief centers. So that's when this PTA mom decided she was going to change the way grieving children were treated in our community forever. Opening up this incredible place, how has that healed you? Well, that's what I say. Tomorrow's Rainbow is actually my grief journey. It is such a privilege to be able to do this work, to see the families come in and the children come in with their heads hanging a little bit away to the world on their shoulders and leaving here filled with joy, smiling, skipping, and their new friends that they have that they've met here at the farm. It takes a community and so many different unique ways, right? We say that grief is something that we all experience. We experience grief differently and our grief stories are all unique, but it's grief nonetheless. When they come to Tomorrow's Rainbow, how do we help them with grief? Well, first, just removing that social isolation because children oftentimes feel like this only happened to them. And so we want right. them to be with other people, other children with shared experiences. So that's the, the really important component of the program is being with other children that are grieving. But beyond that, they get to participate in not only a peer support group, but the horse interactions and the therapeutic play areas so that they can take their own unique grief journey. How do animals help with that? What do, what, is it something, is it, is it oxytocin? <laughs> is it the way they smell? Like, How do animals help with grieving? Yeah, so there's a, a lot, and people often ask me, well, how come horses? And horses was, uh, was deliberate because they're actually the only animal in the animal kingdom that has a natural ability to mirror your behavior. So when the children are working with the horses, they can actually see what they're giving off to the rest of the world. If they don't like what they see, they can adjust and adapt. Once they put their hands on their horse, we see them to self-regulate, self-soothe, and it's, it's, it's absolutely remarkable. <laughs> Abby, you're saying that. I think of all the times I've tried to pet horses and they run for me or snarl. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? No, I'm just kidding. But that's awesome. I didn't know that. That's, that's good to know. When families and young kids come to Tomorrow's Rainbow, what is that feeling you want them to walk away with? Um, I certainly want them to realize that they are not alone and that they are um, validated in their feelings, their thoughts, their concerns. Even though their grief journey isn't like another person's grief journey, that shared experience lets them realize that they're not alone and gives them hope for the future. While the children are there in a support group, we also have a support group for the adults. And so they're able to be with their peers. Really important for the adults to role model that they're doing their grief work while the children are in their group doing their work. But we also provide some education on how to raise a grieving child the uniqueness is that we have children that are grieving being raised by adults that are grieving and so we need to make sure that we provide support for the entire family. For two years you've had to postpone your annual Pony <laughs> Jail and Bales event but now it's back this October bigger than ever. Absolutely so uh, we before COVID we opened the farm once a year to the public to invite people out to experience what we get to experience every week here at Tomorrow's Rainbow. Good old-fashioned fun live music games prizes food uh, obviously interactions with the horses, um, but we lock community members in the horse stalls until they raise their bail, which we spell B-A-L-E, like, like a bail. Yeah, yeah, like the bails, right, bail got it. Absolutely. <laughs> so we hope that the community is gonna come out and support us. We're back on the mini ranch again this year, and we hope that everybody comes out and supports the event so that we can continue to provide the services that we provide free of charge. Right, well, we'll definitely be here. Abby, I want to go and pet some goats. So let's do that. Guys, please come and support Tomorrow's Rainbow. Abby, what you're doing is so incredible. Thank you for, for just everything. It's so important to, to give love, give positivity, and to help those that are grieving because we've all been there and we all don't want to be alone. It's great to know there's a place that makes sure that we're not alone. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, so guys, we're gonna go play with some horses. We're gonna play with some goats. You guys have a great day. Visiting Tomorrow's Rainbow for myself, there was something wonderful about what those animals can do and the power that animals have on humans and our connection, especially helping people heal from any kind of trauma. So if you are 
going through grief or you have things that you want to move through and need help moving through them, please visit Tomorrow's Rainbow. It is an awesome place. We'll be right back.